Am I good? How do I look? Holy cow. Thank you, my lady. Mm. <laughs> I like that angle. No, don't do your Trump impression. I want to look small and not fat. <laughs> yeah, get your camera angles in there. Let's start. No intro? It's like, <laughs> what's start? So we're going to do one of our, I wouldn't say our most popular videos, but I would say that most of my diehard Liz Daily fans from Instagram, this is their favorite video. So I'm doing it for you guys. If you like this video, comment below and maybe we'll make, make another one. <laughs> this is a good one. You are too young to be a mother. I hope the father is a good man. If you even know who he is. Oops, I said it. Don't act like it can't happen. <laughs> Do you think Holy you're the dad? Smokes. I'd like to think I'm the dad. That's on or kind of kid number three now. <laughs> How confident are you? I'm pretty confident. <laughs> These dismissive invalidating videos are always shot in a perfect kitchen. Oh, would you rather look at an ugly kitchen? Do you think our kitchen is perfect looking? No, I don't. <laughs> I don't either. I laughed really well, hard. Well, that's pretty flattering then. I, I thought that was very flattering. I saw that comment before I even planned on doing this video and I was like, that literally just made my entire day. That someone thought we had a perfect kitchen. That actually made my day. <laughs> it was not at this house, it was at our old house. So the mm. kitchen was a little nicer. It was a little bit nicer. But it was it's far from perfect. <laughs> you are so insecure of your life, lol. I knew there was gonna be a Bible verse in the bio. You're probably under 30, still young enough to get out, get an education, and find a life that brings you joy and peace. You're already doing that now. Why would you do it twice? I don't know. <laughs> I actually, I hate school. I would never willingly go back to college for any reason. Disgusting video, just get divorced already. Oh. <laughs> you wanna get divorced already? I don't want to. I guess your brain is still not fully there. And it never it is, will be. <laughs> it's not fully there. I literally had chunks of it come out when I got in the car accident that left this scar. So no, my brain is not fully there. And it, <laughs> it will never be back. <laughs> How do you feel about having a wife without a full brain? It's all right, somehow I still manage. <laughs> Stop having kids already, you weirdo. We don't want to know about your breeding kink. <laughs> I I really don't uh, think three kids is that many. That's just my personal opinion though. Three He's like from nine, months. I'm from 13. So yeah, we're about to have baby three. I'm 15 weeks pregnant. Who knows though, how many kids do you think we'll end up with? Cause I'm thinking- Not, <laughs> I'm, not eight. I'm thinking of six. That's it, yeah. It doesn't mean I want six, but- It'll just happen. I think it'll happen. <laughs> Keep that attitude when your man kills you, girl, because that's what's going to happen. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> Hold up. Just make sure you aren't fully dependent on him because there is always the possibility of him leaving you and having no assets is no fun in a divorce. Well, it usually always ends up the woman was, gets most of it anyway. I was going to say, <laughs> I don't think they understand how divorce or, um, yeah, splitting, what is that? When you split split the assets? Yeah, just 50-50, yeah. I don't know. I would get like half of everything, so I would actually have Minimum. more money because I'd be in control of more money and I would take it all. How if it's split in two? Because right now I don't spend any money. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Wait till you waste your youth on him and he divorces you for a 24-year-old and you have nothing to fall back on because you spent your life mm. serving a man. Well, I'm glad I'm viewed as Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> <laughs> if you think he can get another 24 year old. Hey. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. <laughs> that literally was the first thing that popped in my head. I'm like, oh, I'm just as cool as Leonardo DiCaprio. All right. You are awful at making jokes. Ooh. <laughs> I think I'm pretty funny. What do you think? I think you're pretty funny too. I, know, I think I'm pretty funny too. Oh my gosh. That's so horrible. I hope your husband. <laughs> this Holy is, smokes. This is the kind of people that thinks their mindset is the right one. <laughs> Pure mental illness. <laughs> 
You haven't not... even seen mental illness. <laughs> That's behind the scenes. <laughs> That's behind... Man, it's hot out there today. Imagine spending all day indoors. During that day, in 14 hours, you have nothing to do for nine hours. If you cook three meals and clean, your kids are at school, your husband is at work, is at work and you're bored. Someday when your husband and kids come home, they'll disrespect you because they're in a bad mood. You feel fulfilled by this, LOL. I wish <laughs> I could live that dream. Could you imagine just like could they you imagine? all leave, everyone have, goes you, to school. Just 14 hours a day, I have nothing to do all day. I'm just- Just do whatever you want. I'm just bored. <laughs> that sounds amazing. And then, oh yeah, they come home. And you're just like, yeah, that's great. I'll You'll leave tomorrow and I'll have another 14 hours. Have fun. <laughs> I'll take that. Personally, if I have nothing to do, well, personally, even if I have stuff to do, I just go to the beach all day. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to see her making a video of her scrubbing up her husband's shit off the side of the toilet bowl. Oh, gosh. So whimsical. <laughs> Whose husband is on the side of the toilet bowl? <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, no, I've I've actually never done that before, but <laughs> Yeah, I'm the one who does that. <laughs> if I ever... Dinner and scrub. Okay. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> These are funnier when I have pregnancy hormones. <laughs> With my pregnancy hormones, I never know what I'm gonna get. Sometimes, like recently, I've kind of stopped reading my comments because I get really triggered and mad. But today, I'm in the perfect mood to make this video because I am finding these really funny. Not very trad wifey of you to frolic around on the internet for money. <laughs> <laughs> I like how they compare you to a trad mom. I mean, I don't know if I'm a trad wife or not. I don't think you would be a trad wife. Well, I technically am though, because really? trad wife means traditional and technically we're traditional because we mm. follow like traditional roles. But um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I guess they're the trad wife police. So we're the gatekeepers of trad wives. <laughs> what we can or can't do on the yeah. internet. Your message is so dangerous. If you are living this life, then cool for you, but don't promote it on Instagram, which is very full of influential teen girls. Because if you don't have a job and you only depend on your husband, if one day he leaves or something, you don't have any solutions anymore. Please girls, be independent. These kind of reels are just a backtrack. No matter what, we're dependent on someone, whether we like it or not. Yeah. So, you can be dependent on your husband, you can be dependent on your boss, you can be dependent on your job. Even if you're working mm -hmm. for yourself, you're still dependent on people wanting your product, having the money for your product. Personally, I like someone else making my money for me, so. <laughs> <laughs> I hate when people virtue signal this stuff. I don't think women should be in the workforce, but you should have 10 years in the gulag, to be honest. <laughs> So I think what yeah. they're trying to say is basically women shouldn't be in the workforce, but because I talk about not being in the workforce, I should be in the gulag. So, so people are tired so of I it should be in the gulag. You be, yeah, but What's you, the gulag? I have no idea what the gulag is, but I'm assuming it's a place I'm like, of work. Is it like <laughs> the workforce or like... Purgatory. <laughs> okay, so you're lazy and weak then. Got it. Either that or you're smart enough and to. hot enough to woo a man who can do it all for you. <laughs> I might be lazy and weak, but I got That's something right. turning up there. That's right. <laughs> lazy and weak enough to let someone else do it for me. That's right. <laughs> what do you do if you aren't married? Just starve and live in filth? I <laughs> 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 have yeah. no husband Living to feed me. Live in a zone. Or clean for me. <laughs> Stop yawning. Yeah. Drink more coffee. Mm. Okay. He's been up working late because I need more money. <laughs> <laughs> Someone said, you need to mop them floors. I saw those dust mops at the end of your legs. <laughs> <laughs> nice. uh, that was on a 
video where I was talking about cleaning, <clears throat> my feet were not even that dirty, but a couple people had to pick so them up. So dirty feet was, you gotta get They're, that under they control. They weren't that dirty. <laughs> gotta get those dust mops under control. <laughs> When y'all get divorced, will you make a story time about it? Because I'm gonna want to know why. Well, when we get divorced, I'm gonna want a story time because I'm gonna want to know why. <laughs> <laughs> if we got divorced, why would it be? Maybe if- That's pretty loaded. Maybe if I put frogs on your face while you were sleeping. <laughs> It'd probably take a lot more than frogs to put on my face. The frogs being on, on your face. Oh. Ew. I'm in a slime happy mood right now. Yeah, I see that. What did you actually put in that drink? <laughs> I don't know why. Oh man, I think my like, because I was feeling really tired and yeah, just, like kind of depressed before this, and I feel like my hormones like switched. <sighs> yeah. That or you put something more than coffee in there. You can't. You're drinking that? Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, you can still drink coffee. It's not alcohol. <laughs> What? What is this? I just thought what pregnant women weren't supposed to drink coffee for like a split second. It was an intrusive thought, okay? <laughs> it's like, no, that's silly. Of course they can. Oh man, some people think that, some people will actually get really mad about pregnant women drinking caffeine. Like yeah, I heard like it's like it's not supposed to be ideal, but. Not too much. Like, yeah, like dad. Get them started young, that's what I say. <laughs> Mm. Get them addicted right from the womb. That's right. <laughs> Is that Schmidt? <laughs> Schmidt? Do you remember that show that I made you watch that you hated? New Girl? Well, I didn't hate it, but yeah, Schmidt. Yeah. <laughs> I've had a couple different people say you look like Schmidt. I could see that maybe I can like kind a little of, bit. Like, you better be able to bake, otherwise you are zero for two. I can bake, so. You sure can. I have that going for That's me. That's how it all started. <laughs> like, hey girl, I see them cookies over there. Can I have one? Ooh, a muffin? Yeah. I like cinnamon muffins. Someone said, I'd rather have my account suspended than see another one of these posts. <laughs> you, all you have to do is block me and you won't see any more. It's very easy. I block yeah. a lot of people. Honestly, uh, just because I don't want to see their content. I don't even block people for leaving hate comments. I just block people because I don't want to see their content anymore. Oh, I wish I could leave that in. Like, why do all those say boop? Mm -hmm. Gosh, could you imagine that? <laughs> like, she looks so lame doing that. Like, sorry, she can do whatever she wants, but she still looks lame. I know. so lame. I know, I'm really lame. I actually am really lame. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Your cookies are flat. Actually, I got that comment a lot. Yeah, I think it actually bothers people like when they look at a flat cookie, but they're really good. Like, I don't know why they have to be, why do they have to be fluffy? Uh, why do they have to be so thick? Like, why is everyone so obsessed with cookies yeah. being like so thick? Wait, yeah. do you know anyone that flat cookies bother them? No, all the guys oh. at my work love the stuff you bring. I was so like, wait, like, they don't like, like flat like cookies. Ones, <laughs> yeah, but it's like the flat oatmeal ones. Those yeah. are pretty good. Yeah, they just mm -hmm. kind of flatten. I don't know. I don't judge a cookie by the way it looks. Okay. I judge it by what's on the inside. Wait, you're supposed to, that would have been funnier if you said, I don't judge a cookie no matter how flat it is. <laughs> you missed it. I don't judge a cookie no matter how flat it is. <laughs> said setting back feminism by 10 years with this post. You're welcome. That's where it should be. <laughs> <laughs> All I have to say, if one person with one post can set back feminism by 10 years, was it really that good in the first place? Ooh, burn. I'm just saying, <laughs> I don't know. You're, you might need to work on the movement. I'm just saying. Someone said, when you have a thought, does your husband tell you not to worry your pretty little head? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have thoughts. My brain is just empty. <laughs> There's room for nothing but emotions and crying. I wasn't surprised when I saw the hashtag Christian and religion. Babies and bread are basically their entire personalities. <laughs> <laughs> but a, I like it. It's very accurate actually. So someone said, I want to throw up. I want to throw up too all the time. You probably have morning sickness. <laughs> you might want to take <laughs> a pregnancy test. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>